Hey, this is Devin, and today I'm going to show you how to check color contrast on your websites and web applications in Chrome, and also how you can use their developer tools to help you fix problems you're having with your color contrast. In really simple terms, having good color contrast means that if your text is black and your background is black, your users won't be able to read your text. Same thing if it's white or white. And if it's black on white, your text should be easy to read. If it's white on black, it'll be relatively easy to read. But what about the middle? What about the space between those two, where maybe the text is kind of a dark gray and your background is a light gray? How, how does that read? How easily is that read? And it's not just black and white, it, it also works when you start getting into colors too. So if you have red text on a red background, that won't read. If you have red text on a black background, does that read? And a lot of times us developers will give ourselves a little bit too much slack. So it's nice to have sort of an objective uh, judgment about whether our text is contrasty enough. And that's given to us by the WCAG and I think it's Web Consortium Accessibility Guidelines. I'm not too sure about that, but basically it's a set of guidelines around making accessible websites. And part of that is how much contrast do you need to have between your foreground and background, your text and your background colors. Chrome fortunately makes it really easy for us to see how much contrast there is between our text and background colors and it's also got some nifty tools for fixing problems. Um, oh, also it lets you compare it against the WCAG. So it lets you look at what the WCAG recommends and where you are relative to that. Let's flip over to the browser for a minute and I'll show you how all this works. This is a website I built a few months back for a product I launched. So let's take a look at the contrast of the various colors I've used and make sure this site is accessible. I'm using the Chrome browser. So the first thing I need to do is get into Chrome's developer tools. And to do that, I'm going to pick out what I want to check. And I think I'll just check this yellow text over the red background and make sure that has good contrast. I'll right click on some of that text and click on inspect. And that will bring up this new pane in Chrome that gives me some information about this page. And this is built in WordPress, so the markup's a little bit messy, but that's not what we're concerned about here. Also, if your developer tools pane does not appear on the side, or if it does appear on the side and you don't want it there, you can use this little button in the top right to move it either to the other side or you can move it to the bottom or you can even undock it and make it a completely separate window. I have the heading selected and if I look down here under styles, I'm looking at the CSS styles for that heading that's selected in the top pane. And the first thing I see here is the color. You might actually have to scroll down if you have a lot of other styles to find the color but I'm lucky in this case and it's right at the top. In order to see if I have proper contrast, I can click on this little color swatch and I get the color picker. But if you notice about midways through the picker here, I have a contrast ratio 4.14 and it has a green check mark. That means I am good. If I expand this, I can see that I meet double A standard, which is 3.0. I don't meet triple A standard, which is 4.5. I could adjust this if I wanted to, to try to meet the triple A standard, but I think I'm actually okay with double A for now. Let's move on to another element and make sure other text also is contrasty enough. I'm a little concerned about these titles 
So now I'm inspecting this title element. And I have the color. I'll click on the swatch. And this one does not meet the minimum for the AA guidelines. This has a contrast ratio of 2.35, and I need to meet 4.5. One way I can figure out a new color that will be contrasty enough is to go up here to the hex value for the color. This is the hexadecimal value that represents this color I'm using for the job titles. And if I click these double arrows to the right, I can look at the color represented in different ways. So this is an RGBA representation of the color. This is hue, saturation, lightness, and alpha. A is for alpha, that means how transparent or opaque the color is. And then back to hex, and it'll just cycle through those. I'm going to stop on the HSLA representation and if I go here to the lightness box, the L, I can adjust this to try to make a more contrasty color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to increase the lightness and see how that affects the contrast ratio. Okay, it looks like that is good. We're moving in the right direction. So I can just continue to do this, and hopefully I'll eventually hit the contrast ratio. There we go. Although the, the text is basically white at this point. But that's probably a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I would rather have the text not maybe be the color I would like, but have it be readable to more people. In a lot of cases, you're not going to have to go to white to get enough contrast. You can go to a color that's pretty similar to the one you have, but that is maybe just a little lighter or a little darker, depending on the background color you're against. The last step here is to lock in this new color. Changing the color in DevTools doesn't actually make a change to your site. So what you'll want to do is you're going to want to capture this color and then add it to your style sheet or wherever you have this color defined for your site. In my case, since this was originally defined as a hexadecimal value, I probably want to keep it that way. So I'm going to switch back to hex, and this is the hex value for the new color. So I could just copy and paste that into a style sheet or if this is a setting in a CMS like WordPress, I can copy and paste it there. Wherever that color is defined, I can just replace it with this new one. Okay, that's how you find and fix color contrast issues using Chrome's developer tools. If you want to learn more about accessibility, including why you should even think about it, and some other quick wins you can use on your sites and applications to make them more accessible, I've got an article that gives you some more tips, and I'll link to that in the description for this video. If you're trying to change careers and you want to become a web developer, that's what my site's all about. So you should check that out at raddevin.com. Thanks.